Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. In this video, we are checking out Games Workshop pre-orders for 31st of July 2021, and it's a lot of 40k, a lot of Necromunda. We're starting to get the 40k stuff coming through again. We're getting the big build up to Kill Team, but in this week's releases, we are getting a lot of the final bits for the Sisters of Battle, and then getting a whole bunch of stuff for Dalak, and I guess terrain that's going to be usable across all 40k based systems. The first big release for this week is the Combat Patrol for the Adeptus. Sororitas, which is the Sisters of Battle. You may be familiar with this kit. It is essentially the same as what you got in the limited edition release box set for the Sisters of Battle, which had a whole bunch of different models in there. So in this box, you're going to get a Cannoness, one Rhino, which wasn't in that original box set, one Repentia Superior, a Penitent Engine, three Arco Flagellants, four Sisters Repentia, five Seraphim, and then 10 Sisters of Battle to make out a full squad of those. So honestly, it's a good little kit, like 230 bucks Australian. It's, it'll be the equivalent price of any other combat patrol in your area, your geographic region, I guess. It's a good little starter kit. And for me, this is almost a good kit for Kill Team. It does have a lot of models in there, so extra models that you don't need, such as the Rhino, the Pentian Engine, the Cannon S, and a few other models. But you're going to be able to take the Arco Flagellants, and I think you can take Repentia in Kill Team. So you buy this, you're set to play, which is really interesting. I'm starting to look at the combat patrol boxes in a slightly different view now, because Kill Team is, this is all you're going to need for a Kill Team. I mean, you may want to pick up some other models here and there like you may want to run a kill team with more than three flagellants i i don't know i don't know what the limits are we haven't seen all that information yet but i think it's going to be pretty interesting to get that for kill team itself but of course this is a good start for warhammer 40k as well and you can see oh, i love the pentian engines just disgusting disgusting what's going on in the world <laughs> This is basically 40k summed up. This guy does not want to be there and he's strapped to a machine that has flames and saws and just charging at the enemy. Just, you don't want to be there. You also get in this a transfer sheet, which is nice. It has some extra cool bits. So I always love the little extra bits that you can put on purity seals and um, parchments and things like that. So there we go. This one has been in the works for a while and we haven't got it, but we finally got it. Combat Patrol for Sisters of Battle. And to go with the Sisters of Battle, we do have some heavy armor upgrades where we do get the Castigator in this new release. 140 Australian. It is basically a normal Rhino chassis with some side sponsoons and a big gun on top, which is super nice. It's a super nice tank. All the filigree you expect with the Sisters of Battle. I love all the little bits of detail on the side, little shrines on the backs as well. Just all those little bits of detail. I do love it indeed. So, I mean, this image has been going around for a while. We know what this is. They've done articles on... Uh, we'll have a community for it. So you can see this is a rhino chassis, but with all the extra bits. <sighs> so good. So much little bits of detail in there. Just super nice. So there you go, Castigator. So for a named character for the Sisters of Battle Army, we have Astrid Thurga, Reliquent in Arms, and her offsider, one Agatha Dolan. I mean, I've spoken about this model a lot. Every time it comes up, I'm like just gushing over it because we all know I love banners. The more intricate, the better. If they're integrated into the models as well, I'm a huge fan. And particularly this one, she's holding onto it. I get the feeling like she's just almost this centerpiece of a diorama holding onto this last vestige of a shrine. Just It's just beautiful, to be honest. Yeah, I like it. And then we got Dolan, which would be very easily converted into any number of human-based models. I would love to see more Ecclesiarchy models get released. I think that's definitely an area that is ripe for, I guess, models and modeling and conversions and things. Not that we can have really an army on that because that's what the Sisters of Battle are for, but you could get offsiders that work for the Ecclesiarchy and then you can get some, um, not quite men at arms, but some fanatical folk to follow along and fight, even though technically the Imperium isn't meant to have any men at arms. Well, Ecclesiarchy, I should say. And we've got the sprue here. Nice base. I'm always happy about integrated bases if we go back to the main model and you, you don't even really look at the base too much in this it's a very plain base but it's still still super nice nice backpack it's it's not a multi-part kit which you don't expect it to be but you do get that banner because i was i'm always worried with banners if they're going to have the art on there like embossed into the plastic itself or you're gonna have to paint it always worries me but i'm always happily and pleasantly surprised that it is on there and it's just a really cool centerpiece i've always got the impression of she's standing at the top of a mountain or in a shrine somewhere with sisters surrounding her to protect this banner. It's actually an auto tapestry, which I just love the name. There's no, I don't think there's any lore about it, but it's just an auto tapestry. Super nice. 
Now we're moving on to some of the new terrain. So this is Battlezone Mechanicus Charidon. It's a re-release of terrain we've already got, but in a nice box of $250. I think that's okay. I think with terrain, you're generally going to be buying more, particularly if you're playing. Uh, yeah, you're always buying more to fill up a table. So in this box, let's just bring it up so we can have a look. So we have two ferritonic furnaces, one hematrope reactor, which is the big skull blade down the bottom, five plasma conduits, two alchemite stacks, two thermic plasma regulators, and one emergency hatch for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, a little hatch. But we also get two double-sided folding game board mats and each of them, I think it measures 30 inches by 22.4 inches. So you can build a battlefield and it's going to be suitable for up to a thousand point games of Warhammer 40k, which is good. You can start like in a combat patrol game, which is 500 points, I believe, or 50 power. I can't remember how that translates to, to points. I don't really know, but it's going to get you going for a while. So nothing new in this. This is all stuff that's been released previously. Yeah, there's really not much more to say. Is that you get some boards, which is essentially the same boards. One's just green one's not but you can flip them which is good and as you can see a layout there it's it's a decent size for a thousand points it'll be fine and with kill team coming up um and necromunda getting lots of releases this is going to work for all those systems all these little bits of train pieces that you can put around mix it up with the kill team box or with your what is it command edition or elite edition i can't remember what it's called for 40k you got a bunch of training there super nice so as with ninth edition and I think a little bit in 8th edition as well, if I recall correctly. Terrain also had certain rules and you can get data sheets for the terrains. In this case, you can buy them separately. We've got a pack of terrain data sheet cards. So it has 22 in this pack. And we go through the list now. We have eight terrain data sheet cards, eight tactical terrain data sheet cards, two battle zone mechanic and rules cards. So if you buy the box, you can play specifically around the um, terrain in that box. One agenda's card for use in crusade campaigns, one theater of war card for use in narrative and open play games, a photo card and an art card. And you can see the cards here. They have uh, specific rules. You don't see all the rules here, but you can sort of make out down the bottom there's rules for the Alchemite stack and the terrain category and traits and things like that. And it sounds like with the Agendas of War, so the Agendas card and the Theatres of War, you can do certain things. It looks like with the Plasma Conduits, there's certain things you can do with the pipe edging for some reason it's highlighted. So I'm assuming you can do things with that. I don't have a problem with adding rules to terrain. I think that makes sense. One problem I do have is selling the rules for the terrain separate to the terrain. That I don't like. If you buy a piece of terrain, it should come with the rules with it. I don't think that's too much to ask. So you're going to have to spend $40 on these cards. And they're 22 cards. They're more like A, mm, A5, A4. I think they're about A4, between A4 and A5, maybe A5 and A6 size. I'm not sure the exact size of it, but yeah. So it comes with data sheets for all the terrain that we spoke about in the battle box, or the terrain box. As with pieces of the terrain being separate, which we'll look at in a second, there's been a re-release. You can get the battlefield boards as well separately. So it makes up 44.8 times 30 inches and says it's perfect for 1,000 points or 50 power games of 40K. Exactly the same boards we've seen already. So obviously, if you buy the battle box of terrain, you're gonna be saving a lot of money because this is 250. The boards themselves are 84. So, you know, I'm, it makes sense to buy it in those boxes rather than separately, unless you don't want them separate, want them all together. You might have enough terrain, you don't wanna buy more. You just buy this. So at least the options are there for you if you do if you are willing to you know pay a bit of a premium to get something separately so terrain wise the actual separate terrain these are all re-releases i don't recall the prices of it previously i think particularly the ferritonic furnace was 84 dollars australian so the price has been put up a bit it's what you expect these days but again this is terrain that's been around so you've got the ferritonic furnace the galvanic magna vent for 125 because it is a little bit bigger and then the trans tyrannic gantries that was a bit of a mouthful trans tyrannic gantries for 70 dollars again you can pick up a lot of this in the battlefield box the mechanicus one so if you just need to top up a bit eh, it is what it is terrain is terrain you kind of need terrain for the games but you can get it how you like so then we can have a bit of a deviation we're going to go to the siege of terror the lion's gates lion's gate spaceport map this is just a limited edition special type of thing a little piece of beautiful art just if we get some close-ups there it's just beautiful i love these kind of weird art designs these weird maps that honestly does it make a lot of sense no it doesn't at all it doesn't doesn't make any sense as a map, as a usable map, like a guide, a nice art piece, but a map within the world itself. No, it doesn't make any sense, but you know, I like the design either way. You got all crazy skulls, you got cybernetic lines. <laughs> <laughs> with bionic eyes love it you get some cool things here you got the evil boys 
Evil boys. Even more evil boys. And it sort of wraps up and it comes in a nice box. So that's $90. This is very limited edition. I don't even know how many they're making. Um, let's have a look, see if it says. They don't even say how they're making. If you're interested in size, it's A2. Uh, but nothing, yeah, nothing about how many are available. So if you're a collector, you might want to pick this up. So let's move on to Necromunda. We do have the House of Shadow Box for Delac. This is $78. If you've seen the other books for the House series of Necromunda, you know what you're going to be getting. Let's have a look through. You can't quite make out the rules. One thing I do hate about these books is the background. Oh, it makes reading so frustrating. There's no need for it to have these tatted up background. I think it should be white. I think that'll be fine. But as you can see, it has a whole bunch of rules there, like the gang account, house list, or all the new models, hangers on and brutes. So they've got a few different new ones in there too. You've got some more hide guns, some additional rules, some terrain, and scenarios, and a whole bunch of other things. What I have heard is there's a lot of misinformation in this book intentionally because Delic is a house of secrets, it's a house of shadows. They have a whole bunch of possible history and background. Who knows if any of it's true, how they're all water breathing things, they're all psychic, they're all genetically made, we don't know. It's all hidden under layers of myths and legends and lies and substitute and things like that. So I really like that idea. So that's $78 if you want to pick that up. But moving on, you're going to need your tactics cards. So $27 Australian. Again, check your local area for prices. You're gonna get 26 cards in this. So 18 specific Delac tactic cards and then eight blank fighter cards. So you can see here, we got shifting shadows. Play this gang tactic when activating a friendly Delac fighter. The activated fighter may immediately be removed and replaced anywhere within four inches of its previous location. Very thematic for a gang that fights from the shadows. I think it's cool. I love the tactics cards here. It just gives you that extra thematic kick that just adds something really cool. There's a bad guy coming for you. No, 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 we'll just activate a guy and just make him disappear. <laughs> and he's always somewhere else. Kind of cool. Uh, I do like that idea. And we also get new dice as you do when there's a new release. So these are the weird, greeny, sickly brown, greenish, gross, greenish, yellowy, greenish color. Yeah, I don't like these dice. But if you want to be rolling to get favor from House Delac, you want to be rolling these. So you would already have plenty of these dice if you do play Necromunda because they use very specific dice. But if you want Delac themed, you're gonna, gonna go for it. And of course the big release for Delac this week is the new box of all their new models. So we got the Nacht Ghoul, Psygeist and Piscean Spectres. Oh, Pice Inspectors, what a name. So in the box yourself, you get two Nacked Ghoul, which are the champions, two Psygeist, which are prospects, two Psychoteric Worms, which are the cute little worms busting out of the metal, their exotic beasts, and a Pice Inspector, which is a brute, which I believe is Pice Inspector is the big boy, the weird thing with its brain hanging out, which reminds me very much of the Sentinels from the Matrix or Squids from the Matrix. One of the gangs I do not understand in Necromunda at all is Delac. I don't quite get it. I don't like, also don't like the brown leather stuff that they wear. I prefer the old black stuff. So I was considering picking this up just because that Piscean Spectre is just an awesome model and will just freak everyone out because it's so different to anything else in Necromunda. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't feel like it should be there, but it makes perfect sense that it's there. Continuing on with Necromunda, we do have the Orlok weapons and upgrades. As we've seen with the previous ones, we the Escher Gang. I don't recall we've got, I think we've got the Goliath one. I know in Forge World, there's a whole bunch of um, resin parts that you can get, but not plastic parts. So for $40, which I think isn't too bad, it's, you're getting a lot of stuff at 70 pieces. You're getting two of each weapons, two chainsaws, two heavy weapons, bolt pistols, 10 alternative heads, which we'll have a look down here. Like just, just cool heads really. And just cool parts. You can do some really interesting things with this with conversions for other gangs, um, Imperial Guard units, if you play Inc. 28 or any of those kind of games, it's really cool to get. So look at the sprue. I think it's just a replicated sprue as far as I can tell. Not 100% sure on that, but I, I, I am for this. I'm for the big, densely packed upgrade sprues. And I'm for that across the entire Games Workshop Warhammer range. 100% for it. And you know what else I'm 100% for? Lady Credo, Rebel Lord. This is over at Forge World. I am picking this one up. Um, shipping is a bit expensive to Australia, but this is a model I've been waiting for for a while. Just, it's such a cool model. So dynamically posed. She's got two servo skulls rolling around, like a really ornate servo skull as well. Where is it? That one there. Oh, I love that servo skull. Yeah, I think this model is awesome. So I'm definitely picking this one up. And we'll see 
sit nicely on the shelf. Nice cybernetic arm. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in just getting sort of like hangers-ons, like hide guns you can get for Necromunda from Forge World because there's so many cool stuff there. And if you are interested in getting any of these models and you do want to get a bit of a discount and help out the channel, check the link in the description. It'll take you to Element Games. It's an affiliate link. So not only do you get a discount, but like a pretty hefty discount, sometimes 15 to 20% off Games Workshop prices, which is pretty good. It also helps out the channel with a bit of a commission. And thank you to everyone who has used that link. It's been great. Honestly, it's definitely helped the channel out. Helps the channel keep going day to day. So thanks for that. So there you go. That's all we've got for this video. Obviously, the big release for this week is the Combat Patrol box for the Sisters of Battle and Dalak releases. But there's just such some cool stuff. We got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming out soon. We know Kill Team's coming out in August. So I'm holding off from making any big purchases until then because there's going to be some cool stuff there. But let me know what you're most interested in. There's, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff here that I want. I kind of want a hands, my sticky little grubby hands on everything, really. I don't know. But let me know in the comments. Um, and if you have got this far, thank you for watching. If you have liked it as well, hit that like button because it makes other people aware that you like it and YouTube likes it. And it'll show it to other people because other people might like it. If you like it, other people might like it. So that is where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you for watching another pre-order video and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.